my most interesting dating experience. Yeah. Oh wow, um, that's a really difficult question. <laughs> I don't really go on many dates because I always end up in relationships. So yeah, yeah. but um, one of the best dates I've been on when I was in a relationship with this guy was um, he took me to London and we went and saw oh. Wicked, which is like one of my favourite musicals. So yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I'd probably say that obviously a part of it is looks because that's normally what pageants are about but I'd definitely say that the Miss Norfolk one has shown me that it's a lot more than that it's about building confidence and um, bringing you as a person out and not just sort of hiding behind the makeup and everything so yeah definitely go for it because it's really good. People should vote for me because I'm being myself, I'm being true to myself, I'm being exactly the person that I am, I'm not pretending to be anything different. I'm trying to show that you don't have to be you know, specifically a certain height or a certain weight or a certain look to be in this competition, just go out and do it and like, prove to yourself that you can do anything. I'd represent Norfolk by um, doing more charity work, which we've already been doing anyway. Um, probably talking to more girls, um, going out and showing them like you can do anything that you put your mind to. Yeah, just sort of trying to be the best Miss Norfolk I can be, I guess. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a tough one. I'm not sure um, many men want to listen to advice from a woman, to be honest. But um, I just say, um, yeah, be yourself, be honest, listen. You don't always have to be sort of like, you know, the big kind of tough guy just because you're around your friends. I think girls like it more when you actually show a sensitive side, so yeah. Dog? Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know what dogs sound like.